Thanks for joining us here on Hit Points Gaming again for another video from PAX East 2020. In this video, we're going to be talking about competitive eating, bite the bullet. Right. When we were got to the booth, we got there just I think at one o'clock or two o'clock, and they were saying, "Oh, we can play the demo. There's going to be a competitive eating competition going on in just a few minutes." I can't wait for this. So we left before that, though. We did uh, because it didn't start on time. But we were really excited to go back. When we went back, it still wasn't going on, or it happened. I don't know. Uh, the game itself looks interesting. Metal Slug meets. Uh, well, I don't really want to say Contra. A little bit. Okay. Well, Metal Slug's like that, yes. right? Metal Slug uh, meets, I don't know, uh, Cooking Mama? I don't know. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> it's Metal Slug with food, right? Yeah, yeah. it's like a, like a roguelike Metal Slug game, but with food. You're shooting things. Not necessarily like donuts, but yes, donuts. Robots, vegetables. And when you get an enemy near death, they kind of sit there, okay. and you can go over and eat them. So there's like caloric intake of the enemies, um, and there are different types as well. So if you eat a lot of vegan or vegetarian food, you get vegetarian powers, robotic okay. powers, um, dough power, you know, things like that. Interesting, interesting mechanic. Okay. They did not explain to us, and I, I want to express that because we sat down for the demo. We we're like, hey, we're here to play the play the game. No one actually told us what the game was about. You figured this out as you played through it. Yeah, and I, and I want to say, and the reason I wanted to say that they were having competitive, they were having a competition, that's probably why they weren't able to sit down with us. Got it. Um, but it looks really cool, you know, you, your character gains weight the more you eat, you get more powerful, your guns get upgraded more. There's a reason to eat these enemies and a reason to either stay with certain enemies to eat you eat just vegetarian, you know. Yeah, that's one thing as I was watching you play this, you know, you, you found a, uh, a guy, you got him down to, you know, quarter of their health, and you went over and ate him. And you did that for every single character. Yes. So I don't know if that's how the game's supposed to be. If you're supposed to, like you said, only target certain guys. It, it felt like, I'm going to move to this guy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, game game basically stops now. It's for you to go over you, know, you do become invulnerable during it. Figure yeah. out what's happening. Okay, next guy, go. Oh, okay, so it's like, I don't, it, it, to me, it was like, it paused. Stop, pause, stop, pause. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be like. I doubt it, but we, you didn't know. And right. you wanted to try that out. You want to see what that was. And so you kind of gained that knowledge as you were playing through. I think with some background, you would have a, a better understanding of, you know, the, the correct method to go about the game. Because I think that's really interesting. Yeah, it is. Like you said, if you eat more, your character gain weight. They couldn't jump high. They couldn't mm -hmm. run fast. So I think that's the downside to it. But every time you ate, you did regain health. Yeah. So there, it seemed like there was a lot more going on than just shooting people. You know, and you have a lot of things on screen, so you are just shooting things. I wanted to eat that guy, but I shot him, and he's now gone. Right. So I think that also played in there. It seemed like there's a lot of meta. Okay. Like meta, meta. Yeah. I just want to know a piece of that meta. Right. Instead yeah. of a I can't think of a food reference. Okay, that's okay. You'll you'll get it next time we play C4. <clears throat> Did you say C4? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, but, I gotcha. But it was a fun game. Um, I think knowing more about it would be great. I, I think that really falls on me not exploring and trying to ask more questions. I really just wanted to play the game and see how the game played. Mm -hmm. It did play smooth. The music's really cool. It's like okay. radical music. Oh, good. Uh, the art looks pretty neat. It's kind of sticks on that along that line of. You know, kind of retro, but not like 16, 32 bit kind of deal. Okay. I thought it was cool. I would like to know more about it before making a purchase. But as far as just playing the game without eating things, I felt challenged. What? It's co op? Yes. Because you guys both played on separate screens, though. Yes. I would assume it, it is co op. It though. is co op. Got it. Split screen? Don't, we don't, don't know. don't know. I think it's only one. Yeah. Okay. But it was cool. I, I thought it would be fun. And without the eating mechanic, like I said, it would still be it would be very challenging. Yeah. yeah which yeah. was what I'm looking for in a game like that, in a roguelike like that. Sure. So um, thanks for watching this video. And don't forget, we do have other videos on more coverage of PAX East 2020 for both board games and video games. So thanks again.